sparrows haven't passed wind yet and I'm up ready to go fishing. This is Ian Ostler. Now Ian, can you tell me why we're at Jarvis Bay at four o'clock in the morning? Mate, it's to catch squid and the best time to catch squid is first light in the morning. And why are we catching squid? Well, we need to catch bait and the bait are going to be for the kingfish today. Sounds like an awesome plan. I'm so glad I got up at 3.58. It better be good, Ian. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I'm the decky. You can be local knowledge. You guys are the kingfish catchers. Hold well on, mate. Just a little sneaky drift. Yeah. It's not a big squid at all, but. That's ideal. Yep. It's a bait. And you've got a pretty good squid population here. We've got a great squid population, yeah. There's a lot of seagrass throughout the bay, so plenty of squid. Just going to lift him straight up. Yep. Beautiful. I know I'm poor. So am I. Traditionally I like to drift the squid, we've got so much wind this morning that the drift is too quick. So what I've done, I've put the anchor out. And what we're doing is fishing a patch, catch some squid, don't catch some squid. Then what we do is move 10 metres. We're literally covering ground, almost drifting with the anchor out. Once we've gone back about 50 metres, that's five moves. We move across, do the whole thing again. Hooked. It's just what I do. That's how you roll, it's a nice one. Squid of the day. It's the Kraken. He's about to go absolutely eight. Nice squid, Christy. How cool is that? Very cool. Well, Christy just caught a beautiful calamari. I thought it was worth noting the jig. It's an Adori and it's a King George whiting pattern. You can see it looks like a little King George whiting. Calamari absolutely love eating whiting. It's important when you fish them, try and get the jig to match the hatch. Well, we've moved up the coast about 10 kilometres and we're getting some protection from the cliffs, but to say conditions are far from perfect would be an understatement. But, based on the water, we're going to give it a crack and see what happens. How cool is this? We've even crimped a few flashes onto the downrigger to see if we can attract some more fish. Throwing two baits today, one with a downrigger and one with a sink on it. You can actually see here on the sounder exactly where that downrigger bomb is going and, and occasionally you actually see fish swimming up to it. We'll look. Well, Keep. one you can guarantee, Jet, get the wraps out, have lunch, and you catch a fish. Can you put the um, cushion on a bit better, please? Certainly, mate. Just... That's it. Thanks. There's some solid weight there. In fact, oh, yeah. Ian still has a mouthful of wrap. Oh. Don't you, Ian? Oh. <laughs> Luckily, mine was first and I finished. Oh, yeah, I just finished mine. You can see we're coming out of this beautiful cliff. 
and this is the spot I wanted to get to earlier, Jeff. We just couldn't get here because it was too windy. Um, just slow down, mate. You got a fish coming up here now. What have we got? Just keep it out the side there. It's a beautiful yellow tail kingfish, mate. Look at that. What a great fish. I'm going to grab the net. Hold him there. Let's bring him around gently. Whoop. He's got a bit of going in still, mate. He definitely does. Yes. Got him! Jetty boy! <laughs> Thank you! That is a magnificent yellow tailed kingfish. We've got a hook in the net there. Jet, I believe that could be your first kingy ever. Oh, it definitely is. How well did it fight? Oh, very! Mate, you were pretty keen to catch one of them. I said they're about as good as fish go. And yellow tailed king, so tough. This guy, I've got to put a tag in him and put him back. It's a very good start today. Well played, Ian. Thank you. Well played. Beautiful tags in. Now, there's the tag card. What does that do for research? So we fill that out and then we get to we measure this fish and uh, put it back in and then if someone recatches it, we get to find out where it ends up and uh, what length it grew to. And that gives us so much information about fish, their habitat, their movements. Absolutely, it gives us an idea of um, where they're travelling to, what size they're growing, at what rate. Uh, and yeah, we get to see if there's any um, stock crossing over between, say, South Australia, Victoria, up into uh, New South Wales, etc. Sensational, mate. Well, we'll put him back. We'll fill the tag card out and leave that a little bit for research. We'll put him back, mate. And this fish is going back and hopefully uh, another angler gets to enjoy it as much as we did. two hooks snelled on, pad and oster, basically the big sinker hanging off the swivel and you're good to go. So basically the sinker down about 10 to 15 metres, work on the fact we're going to get a bit of drag and that is in the zone. Really important these kings get your drag locked up because you get a big one, you're going to need every little bit of it. Look at that structure. We literally wanted to be on this point for the bite, Christy. And the bite was always going to be on the tide, Jason. On the tide, yeah. This morning, you wouldn't have dreamt you'd actually be able to get out and have a fish, would you? No, it was pretty uh, lumpy this morning, let's it's, just say. It was horrible, but the great news, we went out, had a bit of play around, literally hit. Oh. All that's going to go, literally hit from the wind, and now it's turned around. So it's blowing perfectly with a bit of shoulder here, and we've got wind up our bum on the way home. Yeah, which is... <laughs> A pleasant way to go home. Only way to go home for the following sea. This might be a bit better than the last one. Christy, just hold on. He's going to do the big dog. Where's that next? I'm pretty sure that's what he just did. That's a beautiful fish. You're going to just grab him, mate. i got bogus here if you want. Nah, I'd be all right. Oh, oh. hold on, now. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling over the side, Christy. Just about. These are incredible Boom. fish. He's coming up. The big yellow tail. Look at that. Just get ready for the big dive now, though. You can still come. You don't want to break the rod. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, that's a nice fish. <laughs> that is a beauty, Christy. I'm pretty excited. You want me to... Just back it off, just in case. Oh, go in. <laughs> that is a cracking New South Wales King 8. I'll grab the leader for him. Yep. Make it a bit easier. Here we go. Swing him around. <laughs> that is a big fish. You know they're big? Watch that hook at his other side there, mate. You know they're big, eh? When you got it, actually cuddle them. <laughs> These things never know when to give up. In fact, I'm going to make life easy. I'm going to grab the Esther Boga and hold him like that. Christy Worsley, grab your fish, doll. Fish, you pulled a few kings. They pull as hard as you remember. They pull harder, actually. And the, the one I caught last time was a bit bigger than this. And yet this one pulled just an equally as hard. So a few times impressive. Where well, you actually had to grab the rod to stop yeah. Christy going over. Absolutely. <laughs> but you get that, mate. That king's got to be like 90, 95. Yeah, he's up there. Up there, beautiful fish. So stoked. They're so awesome. This is so good. A plan comes together. Siriolai, Melandi. So of all the fish you get to catch living in this incredible part of the world, how do you rate the king? Oh, they'll be up there number one for sure. Sensational. The king is king. We'll put this one back with a tag and it's a you can come. 
beautiful part of the world and catch it yourself. They certainly earn their name as the king. This is an epic fish and every time I've ever caught one, I've been blown away. You've earned your survival. Oh, there we go. Tell your mates about us. See ya. Well, Ian, a beautiful day off Jarvis Bay. The scenery, the fishing, it was epic. Do you always catch fish? Right. Get the fresh bait, you catch fish every time. I like that. What an incredible day. Jetty got his first kingy. Speak to the team at Tackle World Nowra. They'll put you on the kings just like Ian did for us today.